All right, y'all. So today me and Trenton are going to be making edible sand. We're going to show you how to do it, and this is what you're going to need. Vanilla wafers, as many as you want for as however much sand you want to make. Oreos, a sand shovel and bucket. And some people use a blender, but we're going to do it this way because we don't have a blender at the moment. We're going to use sandwich bags. First, you're going to take out your box of vanilla wafers and fill your sandwich bag up. Then take your other sandwich bag and fill it with Oreos and crush them up. So let us get this all together and then we'll show y'all what we do with them. Okay guys, so we got our vanilla wafers in our sandwich bag and our Oreos and you just sit here and you break them up. Like I said, you could use a food processor or a blender. It would go a lot quicker, but we're doing this as a DIY doing just this. to spend time together and do something fun. So we're gonna do it by hand. Once you get all your cookies crumbled up, then I will, we'll all pour them in here and mix it up, and it's going to look just like sand. So keep watching to see the end result. All right, guys, this is the consistency that it needs to look like once you get done crushing it up. We just took like a can, like a can of corn or bull peanuts or whatever, and we crushed it with that. These are the Oreos, and then these are the vanilla wafers. We just took a can and we crushed them up real good and now we're gonna pour them over into the um, bucket. So what do we need to do first? So open this up. Okay, I got it. Let her help you. I got it. We're gonna open this up and pour the vanilla wafer in, crushed up vanilla wafer inside of the sand bucket first. Y'all will have to excuse the mess. We're doing this right now, so our mess is everywhere. Okay, time to do it. It kind of looks like chicken casserole. Get all of it in there. So it kind of looks like chicken casserole. Okay, yeah, it does. All right, now put the Oreo on top. And after we put the Oreo on top, we're actually gonna do one more bag of the vanilla wafers. Because so two sandwich bag of vanilla wafers, one sandwich bag of the Oreos. Because we used all the Oreos. You don't need as many Oreos as you do the vanilla wafers. Yes. The Oreos is really for the little black specks in the sand. And also the cream inside the Oreos is gonna help it all stick together. You need some help? I get it. What are you going to make? A sand castle? It's edible sand. I know, but what are you going to make out of it? You're going to eat it. <laughs> we don't have a beach nearby, but the whole point of making this is to make this, take it to the beach, and let other kids see you eating sand, and then they think you're really eating sand when really it's just cookie mix. Okay. All right, so we're going to go on and fill up another bag full of the vanilla wafers, and then we'll, show, we'll mix it up together and show y'all what the end product looks like. So... Stay tuned and we'll be back. All right, once you crush up all of your cookies, then you put it all in your bucket and this is what it's gonna look like. And then you just mix it up real good. Which ours has got a little chunks in it. If you do it with a food processor or a blender, it's not gonna be this chunky and it's gonna look more like real sand. Ours isn't exactly perfect, but it gives you the idea of it anyway. Do you want to stir it some? Yes, I will. All right, do it right here where they can see. I will love to. Stir it up really good. I got it. Hey, baby boys. Okay, let's, hey, move, let's move this right here. Hey. Okay. Sit it down and stir it real good. See, I added too much Oreos in here. Yeah, it's so a little it, dark. We should have added some more vanilla wafers, yes. but to be honest, we're really tired of crushing up cookies. Yes, because we don't we have those. If we would have done it with a food processor or a blender, we would not We would do more vanilla wafers, and it would look more like sand. Small chopper. Yes. Yeah, or a small chopper. But if you can look on the outside, it does look like sand. Okay. Shake it lightly. Look, let me see. Shake it lightly. Now it mixes it up. Yeah. Take it lightly. Okay. And it mixes a lot better. And there is your edible dirt or sand. Okay. Now to make this a little better for y'all to actually eat it, if you add just a little bit of milk, not a lot, don't drown it, but add just a little bit of milk to make it all moist. Let it sit in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to an hour. And then when you eat it, it'll be just like dipping cookies in milk. Okay. So here is our edible sand. Go on and eat some. Is it good? 
We don't have a beach around us. If we did, we would take this to a beach with more vanilla wafers in it. But we would take it to a beach, and he would walk up to other kids and pretend like he was eating sand. But we don't have a beach, so we're just going to eat it here. It looks pretty good. And here is edible dirt slash sand. Make sure you like this video. Comment if you want to see more like it. Subscribe to my channel. And it, don't what? be stressing because you can't receive your blessings. Bye for now.